I'm the best heavyweight outside the UFC. I'll be the UFC heavyweight champion one day. I have the drive, determination. I like the camera, I like the shine, I like to get it on. It's always gonna be a knockout or submission. Weighing in at 241 solid pounds, fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Zoo, the eighth wonder, Anya New Jersey, raised in Bucks County, originally from Nigeria. Oh, big right hand. Yeah, I walked in with my friend of mine, and uh, you know, there's these little guys, and they were doing something called jujitsu, and I wanted to try it. You know, got tapped out a couple times, I got frustrated, and I was like, "What am I doing wrong? Coming back to the house with knee burns and..." bruises and from these little guys so I'm like let me train more so I can you know get them all back which I eventually did and that's how I started into MMA basically Bro, on the chin. that was it right there uh, the first time I stepped into a cage I was so nervous a lot of things ran through my mind failure don't lose in front of my friends, my family. Um, it was just a whole bunch of feelings going through. Like It's like the make it or break it point, basically. When the, yeah, when the bell starts and you get hit, the first engage, it's, it, I'm good. After every fight, it's after every fight, really. Like, the first hit, blow, you know, the nerves go down. You're like, okay. It's time I'm here. Let's just do it. A lot of power. A lot of power. Knocking somebody out feels so good. It's like a it's like a quickening. It's like scoring a goal in the World Cup. You know, you're just for the all them people, and you just know you're just better than he is, you know. But it's not even submitting, it's just knocking them out, just you have the power to do that. You kind of want to do it all the time, but you don't want to rush it. But it's, just, it's the best feeling. It's like, you know, Highlander, you know, Duncan McCloud. It's quickening. It's like you just, you know, you get the, it's like you steal his soul, you know? Like you get a piece of him, basically. And he'll never get it back. Because every time you get knocked out, a piece of you leaves you. It's just, it's how it is. It's how the game is. Right now, I kind of see my knockouts happening. Like I can tell when the knockout's gonna happen. I can, I can visualize it and be like, okay, I'm gonna throw this combo. I'm probably gonna knock him out from this combo because if he's the way I make people skip to my Lou, it just, you know, it just happens. I can't even explain it. Just I see it before it happens. It's like deja vu. I kind of knew I always had punching power growing up. Even, you know, I got in a couple fights in the streets. I kind of knew I had it in me. You can just feel that you're born with natural punching power. It can't be taught to you. So you just have to learn how to put it together. So you kind of feel it when you have natural punching power. You're just something that's in you. You just know, okay, I can knock this guy out anytime I touch him. If I catch somebody clean, I can probably knock anybody in the world out because my accuracy is 100%. It's unreal. Like I said before, I visualize where I'm going to hit you, and it just happens. The one thing you know, I'm just you know, on top of you, and you're looking up. I train 
under Daniel Gracie. Hansel Gracie, Philadelphia. Train under Judo Movement. Under Dave Osagi. I uh, recently just joined NPR also. Um, under Eric Parcell. Uh, great guys. They both have, they all have, you know, different characteristics they can like teach me in different parts of the game. So I like to, you know, absorb their knowledge, you know. Uh, Daniel, obviously with the jiu-jitsu, the game planning for the MMA. Um, David for the judo, the conditioning. Um, Eric, you know, more of a wrestling jiu-jitsu school. Um, he's a real good sparring, sparring partner too, Rome. Uh, I mix up my sparring partners as well, you know, uh, from Matt Hill to uh, Brian Palakow. Um, you know, I have a great team around me, you know. I bring great guys around me that helps me and I help them and that's what it's about. Oh, my biggest strength, um, my foot movement is incredible right now. So, my foot movement, my ground, I haven't really showed off my ground like that. I mean, people know I can submit people. If you go back to my archives, I came from jiu-jitsu. A lot of people don't know that. I got my hands later on, you know. But now everything's complete. I'm working with a boxing coach, uh, Machine Jefferson now. And he's just making my hands all sorts of crazy. But my biggest weapon is my ground. But People don't really see that because they don't last that long. If your wins are up, and if you know you have the credentials to fight me, we can fight. You better train hard because when you come to fight me, you have to fight me. There's no game planning around me. I'm not going to game plan for you. You basically have to fight me now. I mean, I'm Zoo 2.0 right now. I'm really hot right now. I'm not like the old Zoo back in the day. You really have to fight me now. And you probably gonna get knocked out and embarrassed. I'm the best heavyweight right now, the best regional promotion right now, which is CFFC, Cage Fury Fighting Championships. In the next two years, I want to be the best in the world. When I get to the big show, I'm not there just to, you know, have a payday, um, get a knock on the night bonus, um, you know, fight two fights and get cut. I'm there to take over. I'm there to win. I'm there to clean out the whole heavyweight division. Uh, they need a new face, and it's me. It's the eighth wonder of the world. I'm the best heavyweight outside the UFC, mainly because I have one punch KO power. I have the best ground. Um, I don't duck fights. I don't run away from fights. Um, I mean, I'm worth, I'm worth the price of admission and call me the big ticket. Um, it's always gonna be a knockout or a submission with my fights. I'll be the UFC heavyweight champion one day. I have the drive, determination, and as long as I have this, you can win me anything. Uh, McGuigan looking to work maybe an Armin GT. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, Fighting him, fighting him in two weeks. I like the camera, I like the shine, I like to get it on. And like I told you, if I have this, I can beat anybody. It's the equalizer. So no matter how your skills are, you know, you know, all these fancy techniques, 
um, spinning kicks, you know, black belt jiu-jitsu. It doesn't really matter as long as I have the equalizer. And that can put you out in any second. 